What's going on everyone, it's Troy Rifle here, and thanks for checking out my Fallout 4 video. In this video I'm going to be showing you all where to get the amazing Railway Rifle. You guys may remember this from Fallout 3, but for the ones who don't, this shoots actual Railway Spikes, and can penetrate enemies to the wall with this spike, or can just completely shatter the enemy. Overall, the Railway Rifle puts in great work, and gives equivalent satisfaction. It can be located at Big John Salvage which there will be a ton of super mutants to face. According on your level, some of these can be extremely difficult to take on, so make sure you come prepared. I used a unique shotgun with jet to take down difficult enemies here. There is also plenty of stem packs laying around in this area, you just gotta look around, just in case you need that extra healing power. By the way, real quick, if you want to find out how to get the shotgun that I used on a lot of the enemies here, check the description below. I'll leave a link to a guide I made on how to get it. Keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to kill the enemies here to get the railway rifle, just makes it a whole lot easier to grab. Also speaking of grabbing, make sure you do pick up this vendor book that's actually located in this area when you do go here. There is a super mutant that is up in this area, but the vendor book will be located right on this table in here, along with some other goodies as well too. But the way to actually get your hands on this railway rifle is by going over here through the hardware store, then bust the right when you get out of the hardware store, and then bust another right. This circuit breaker right here will activate the way into the secret area here to grab the unique rifle, which this secret area here was Big John's base where he was actually protecting his 5 and 7 year old children at, along with his wife. I know all of this info by the terminal that's actually upstairs in Big John's house here, also known as John Miller if you actually go up to his terminal in his house. By the way, there's also a master safe next to John's terminal, but you don't have to necessarily have to have master lock picking. Although in this footage I'm showing you guys, I did just pick the master lock. But the safe key is inside the secret base that I'm going to be showing you guys, where John and his wife made a base in the turned over train. Which I also thought that was pretty interesting, how the railway rifle is inside a train base. Pretty unique how the developers decided to add it into the area. I'm sure it was not coincidental either. But anyway, back to the circuit breaker. To get the Big John secrets, once you activate the circuit breaker, just follow the wire that is linked to it, and it will lead you to the turned over train where the entrance is. Only way inside though, once again, is activating the circuit breaker. But inside is the railway rifle. As you can see, it has 10 fire rate, 119 range, 69 accuracy, 14.4 weight, so keep in mind to have some room in your inventory for it, and also the value is at 290. Also for damage, I can't really confirm because I'm only at level 20 and I'm sure some of you guys might be higher levels and the damage might be different for you guys. But in this video, I am level 20 and I did clear this whole place out at level 20. So keep that in mind, levels do matter on how much damage the weapon actually has. Also by the way, a very important tip to know is you can actually buy railway spikes from the weapon vendor in Diamond City and they are extremely cheap for how powerful they actually are. So definitely make sure to stock up on ammo when you actually get this weapon. Or hey, maybe buy it ahead of time so you have this weapon ready to go when you pick it up. I have to say it is pretty interesting in this base as well. It has like a little memorial for the children there, I guess they died off first and then the wife and husband left there laying on the bed. Kind of a sad backstory in a way, it seems as if they had to bury their children. And also not to mention there's a shovel in there too, so I'm pretty sure they actually had to bury him, which is pretty sad, not gonna lie. But as always though, for a friendly reminder before I end the video, if this was useful and enjoyable, remember to drop a like and or share the video. It's greatly appreciated everyone, but this has been your rifle, remember to stay safe out there, think about your future and don't sleep in pee. See you next time, peace.